Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about my information analytics project. The topic of my project is predict the rating of a movie based on the actors, actresses and directors present in the movie. First, let's talk about the data set I used. I used the IMDb data sets which they upload and update regularly on their site. The AKS and uh, basics data set contains all the information about movie titles. I use these to filter my data to have movie titles from the US only and movies premiered after 2007. The crew and principal data contains information about all the people involved with the movie. I use these two data sets to obtain all the information about actors, actresses and directors involved in all of the movies. So far, all the data in these data sets are nominal. But the rating data set has information we need the most, the actual ratings assigned to the movie. For processing these huge data sets, I actually generated a Python script to generate SQL tables and then add data from these dataset files to those tables. I then used the SQLite Studio to form appropriate data tables containing information for movies, actors, actresses, and directors. I formed these main tables from the SQL tables. First one is Final Movie Rating, which contains all the movie titles and their actual ratings from IMDb. And I also calculated the people involved, combined work, and the person ratings for those movie titles. These ratings come from the next table, which is final person rating. So I calculated the person rating based on the rating of all of the movies they have been involved in and taking an average of it. And the total movie is basically a count of all the movies they have worked in. The final rate NB is the table I used for knife based and logistic regression. I added a column called rating class, which assigns a class value to the movie based on its rating. For analysis, I used the nine tool and I developed uh, workflows and implemented the following algorithms. There are basically two type of workflows that I developed, one for regression and the other for knife based and logistic regression. So the first workflow, it talks about the regression. I have designed this workflow to rate movies from all the regions, which were premiered after 2007. And I then used a line plot and a numeric scorer. The line plot basically determines uh, the relation between the rating and the predicted rating by the regression. And the numeric scorer is the statistics, which is the R square and the mean absolute errors calculated by the regression predictors. If you look at the table I used, this is the table which has around 35,000 entries. And uh, the results for the regression are as follows. As we see that a random regression, a random forest regression performs worse than simple regression, tree and linear regression. Linear regression tends to perform the best as it has the least mean absolute error, whereas simple regression tree is in quite in the middle of the two. I found that the random forest regression is pretty unstable and linear regression is uh, uh, quite stable. And uh, when we look at the line plots, we see that the random forest regression is pretty good at predicting the lower values, but not uh, quite good at predicting the higher rating values. When we move on to the simple regression tree, we see that it is quite stable at predicting both the higher and the lower values. And then when we go to the linear regression, we see that it performs quite well. And according to values, it performs a little bit better than a uh, simple regression tree. We now move on to the next workflow, which is uh, basically for the movies within the US region only. The workflow pretty much remains the same except that I've added a line plot that combines the ratings, uh, the actual rating and the predicted ratings from all the regression. As we see, uh, this is the table view and there are about 22,000 entries. And we have three columns. We basically use the people uh, working uh, within the movie. There's a total number of actors, actresses and directors working in the movie and the combined work of all of those people and their uh, rating. We use these three columns to predict the overall rating. So as we look at the results, we see that in this uh, data set, 
the random forest regression performs quite well when compared to the other two. Linear regression performs the worst as it has the highest mean absolute error which is at 1.352 and the simple regression tree is again quite in the middle of the two. As we see the line plot, we uh, see that the linear regression performs quite bad at predicting any sort of good values and uh, whereas simple regression does pretty well for, uh, for predicting the lower values but not so good at predicting the higher values. When we look at random forest rating, it uh, basically does quite well with both the values. We then move on to the next workflow which is the knife base and logistic regression workflows. So as you can see I have added the respective regression learners and regression predictors and a score to calculate the confusion matrix for both of the algorithms. This is the table that I have used. The only difference is that it has a rating class and also that the values for per movie ratings that is the individual ratings of the people involved and the actual rating are uh, normalized or that is that they are rounded off. So uh, let's see the results, which uh, looking at the confusion matrix, we see that logistic regression performs quite badly. It is actually quite half and half, like it's pretty 50% uh, correctly classified and 50% wrongly classified. Whereas knife base does quite well with 80% accuracy. What we observe is that uh, for the rounded off values, the accuracy for Either of the uh, either of the algorithms isn't that great, so then I used uh, the actual values without rounding them off to see if the uh, if the algorithms perform better. So the, from the results, as we see that the logistic regression improves a little bit. Like now there is a almost a seventy percent accuracy, but uh, but the Nave base does not form as good as I expected on the actual values with the accuracy being around 76%. <coughs> These are the conclusions I drew from the following regressions and uh, the Nave base algorithm and the logistic regression algorithm. The biggest issue I found was actually processing the data set and then using the data set to find relevant information. And also the predicted ratings that I gathered was uh, basically from a nominal value, which could be pretty subjective. So these are my conclusions for the project. I hope you liked it and thank you.